by Ann Dushenko Dobek. Um, it's called Parallel Migrations, Promises, Promises 2. And Ann has been doing this Parallel Migration series for a while. And it started with um, the butterflies. If you, if you look in the piece, there are butterflies everywhere. Butterflies on the ground, butterflies soaring away. And we all know butterflies migrate. Monarch butterflies migrate. Um, and so she had that idea. Also, there's, there was a few years ago a story that maybe some New Jerseyans remember about some very young girls from Mexico who were kidnapped and sold into prostitution here in New Jersey. Um, now Governor Christie was then the federal prosecutor, and he prosecuted that case, and the girls were actually found and saved. But this parallel migration is the story of these girls' lives, too, coming from Mexico to the United States and going back home. So that's where the parallel migration comes in. It's a beautiful piece. Um, you can see the small smashed teapots. It's this, these flowers that have never germinated, this idea that childhood can be snuffed out. I think she's done quite a wonderful job. She's here, so visitors can read about it if, if they're interested in knowing more about the story, about where it came from. Because I think installation pieces can be difficult for viewers. Um, they, they may experience it viscerally. What is it doing for me when I look at it? But a lot of folks want to know the story behind it. And they want to know what all these dead butterflies mean. And I, I think once they read the story, they, they start to understand um, how she's using it as an allusion to this, this other story of these, these young Mexican girls. It's a Montclair artist who's dealt with industrial materials for a long time. And um, this cube is, is dealing with light and color and reflection. And it is broken glass. Folks come in and wonder, did we break it when we installed it? No, we didn't. Um, it actually was broken by the artist. And it's wonderful the way we can see industrial materials in a new way. You don't think of them as being necessarily delicate or pretty. But if you look at this piece and the light that shines through it, it really is quite beautiful. It's a little gem, a little, a little gemstone here in the middle of the floor of the gallery.